What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Elude Stalwart Place. Today we're going to be playing World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King. It's it's back. It's classic Wrath of the Lich King and I made a death knight. I'm going to do a, a death knight to start. Here's the beginning. That's what you once were. You stood boldly against the shadow and purchased another dawn for the world with your life. But the evil life. you fought is not so easily banished. The victory you claimed, not so easily held. For now, the specter of death looms above the world yet again, and it has found new champions to bring about its final reign. Knights of Darkness. Alduin. <laughs> Someone named Alduin. Death and destruction, bound by the will of the Lich King. This it's so quiet. is the hour of their ascension. This is the hour of your dark rebirth. This is the hour of my dark rebirth. I'm a Ludwart, the Death Knight. Fair back dog. Word player. He <laughs> said beer a bag dog. So I say a word player. <laughs> Alright, uh, I was chatting with my cuz just now. I think he's letting his dog out, but I took it like Word player, <laughs> be our back dog. All right, all right, word, word dog. All right, so a lewd wart. Uh, we got the basic UI, everything's in the basic normal positions. We got to set all this up. So, give me a minute, I'm gonna set all this up. All right, now it should be clear this is classic uh, Wrath of the Lich King, uh, the pre expansion. So, this is I think two weeks before it actually comes out. Here we are, here with some volume. Here's some volumes. We'll give you about half. But I have that. And I'm just gonna... Yeah, those are all fine. I'm gonna get back to the... Okay, so we're gonna be getting out of this starting area. I got y'all a view like this, so you can see the whole screen. But then I also have a separate view. Like this. Where it's more focused. And I actually want to move this up just a little bit. There. That should be okay. Yeah, so this is our setup. I'm getting the initial quests out of the way. Uh, the emblazoned rune blade's the one I'm on right now. I guess carbonite doesn't help you whenever you're early on in uh, the first two quests. So I'll be figuring this out. Oh, return to instructor Razuvius. Razu Inter I return to it, it says... Um, oh, I gotta craft a rune blade sword using it on a rune forge. My bad. I think this is what it means here at the rune forge. I should have an ability. Aris, first aid. That's not what it is. There should be one called rune crafting. Let me figure this out. Okay, maybe if I right click it here next to me. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so we're crafting this rune blade. I'm gonna move the quest thing over a bit too, so we have to see. There you go. Got it. Alright, cool. Now we got our sword. This is the rune soul, soul blade. It's a uh, 55 DPS. Okay. Cool. And then we just got the basic starting gear. Y'all know how, how how a death knight starts. Oh, it says I got a rune forge now. Or no, I gotta go talk to instructor Razivus. Resuvius. Not before I rune forge. Do we want razor ice or cinder glacier? Cinder glacier gives us a rune that has a chance to increase damage by 20% for the next two attacks, dealing frost or shadow damage. Whereas Razor Ice is specifically frost damage, right? Let's go Cinder Glacier. I think Razor Ice is better numbers wise, but Cinder Glacier. And now it's enchanted. Yeah! Okay, let's go back to Instructor Raz. Resuvius. By the time I got up the stairs, he's already walking back where I was, so uh, we're gonna play some tag. 
All right, man, come here. Uh, reinforce or rune forging preparation for battle. Remember these words, Death Knight. The rune forge is a scourge instrument. It exists only in Archerus, Naxxramas, and the Heart of Ice Crown. You may only emblazon your weaponry at a rune forge. Return often and emblazon all of your weapons. A Death Knight must be prepared for all who would dare oppose him. The Endless Hunger. The endless hunger will soon take hold of you, Death Knight. When it does, you will feel pain immeasurable. There is one remedy for the suffering. The hunger must be sated. I give you the key to your salvation. Chained to the heart of Arturus are those deemed unworthy of the Dark Brotherhood. Use the key to free the unworthy, unworthy initiate. Allow them to equip their gear and battle you for their freedom. Kill and the pain will cease. Fail and suffer eternity. Live or die, the choice is yours to make. Instructor Resuvius in Ebenhold has commanded you to free an unworthy initiate and then kill the unworthy initiate in cold blood. It's life, it's your life or theirs. Okay, I guess we gotta punish the unworthy. Um, I gotta, I gotta do something here. It's too far away. Gotta, I gotta dominate him. Hey, uh... Hey, I'm gonna dominate you now! Oh, I gotta click the thing, okay. Go get your armor. You said ally, right? Yeah. Cap. Hold on. Alright, it ends here. So, so says you, unworthy. Unworthy in this <laughs> oh, Let me use my moves. They're set up kind of wrong right now. Let's do it that way. Yeah. And then punks, attracting punks. Here. Once you start combat, you realize everything's fucked. <laughs> so you gotta start moving stuff. Oh, don't die. I got this punks thing. Here it is. It wouldn't let me move it in combat. So this is a part of the Carbonite quest. So is this. This is Carbonite. This is a map. There's no, uh, nothing's being showed on this map right now because I'm at ebb and hold. I'm kind of floating on a, floating on a thing right now. Floating on a thing over a place. We're like over here somewhere. If, if we want to look at the map where we're actually at, we should be on a ziggurat floating above this area. Eastern Plague Lands. I don't know if it's Eastern or, I think it's Eastern, yeah. Eastern Plague Land. But yeah, this is part of Carbonite. It's like an auto quest tracker. Whenever I get out of here, it's going to auto track my quest. So I can click on the bubble and follow the arrow. I'll get an actual arrow. And then the punks is just who else has... Um, I don't know if it's any alliance character but or uh, opposite faction character or a horde character in this situation. But uh, I believe it shows anybody of the opposing faction on a list there. To let you know like there's stealthers nearby. This was the case like before wise pvp before you had that giant like rectangle that showed you crosshairs where the person that you're attacking is it used to be punks as expected my chosen knight has triumphed you're ready to lose stalwart yeah the eye of arteris behold arteris the grand citadel of death it is no equal in this world see this is the one we're floating on right now right the arteris the grand citadel of death not only, uh, it says, not even the mighty Nyx Ramis could withstand a direct assault from the Ebon Hold. Looming above the face of the necropolis is the all-seeing eye of Archerus. From it, the master is able to see great distances into territories held by our enemy. What the eye sees, the Lich King sees. And now the time has come for you to peer through the eye. The Lich King has called for you, elude stalwart. Go now, suffer well, brother. Report to the Lich King in Epic Hole. Alright, let's go. Let's go suffer well. We gotta suffer as good as we can. My master. Master. All life must end. Okay, okay. Your will is not your own. Okay. It sounds like there should be a guitar riff after he's done talking. The time to spill the blood of our enemies approaches. You must first learn what it is that you seek to destroy before rushing headlong into battle. It is what separates a death knight from a mindless ghoul. 
I will grant you sight beyond sight, my champion. You will use the Eye of Archerus to steal our enemy's secrets. Okay. Death comes from on high. Towering above this platform is the Eye of Archerus. From it, you will call forth a probe that you will use, that you will then use to analyze, a, analyze Scarlet Crusade fortifications at New Avalon. The Eye has a host of powers that should make the acquisition of this data simple. Use the Eye Siphon to analyze the Forge, Town Hall, Hold, and Chapel. The Eye's control mechanisms are located on either side of this platform. Waste no more time, Elude Stalwer. The Scourge will have this place. The Lich King commands it. So we gotta use the Eye. Alright, let's go All use the Eye. Must die. All must die. Oh man, me too. I was, I was, I was stuck at first too. It says the Eye of Archerus launches towards, oh, we're moving. Okay, we're moving. Let's go. Look at the eye. Creepy. Uh, spam, right? I'm still with George. Eye of Archerus is in our control. Okay, we gotta target a Scarlet Crusade structure and gather tactical information associated with the building and its location. Um, okay, I, I think I remember this. This is where the, the markers are here. It's for this. Oh, but these people don't like me, so I go invisible. And then I go back to siphoning. I was too close. You can't be too obvious. Okay, let's go. Where else? Yeah, none of Carbonite's helping me. I have to actually find out where to go on my own. Oh, here's the arrow. Siphon, siphon. Nobody cares. Okay, good. Okay. So we also, aside from shroud, we can like shroud ourselves to be invisible. We can also summon ghouls on the Scarlet Crusades, so though. If somewhere we need to get data is too hot, we can get some ghouls down there. I think we're okay just flying around, just tagging the arrows. All my names are taken for the server. <laughs> oh, mine too. Okay. Maybe this way? I hope I'm not going out of bounds. Nope, nope, that was out of bounds. Okay, well, shit. Maybe one of the places was the forge? Yeah, the forge. Okay, here we go. I mean, it says the forge. Could have read. <laughs> I could have read that. All right, we're going to get back. I think I think we can X out now, right? Yeah, there you go. Windseeker. Wind stickers. Death comes from on high. They prepare for battle as expected, but there's something else. I sense an odd enemy. An enemy that I destroyed long ago. It matters not. We will send the might of the Scourge against them before they have a chance to evacuate their homes and put into places their defenses. The might of the Scourge. Listen well, Death Knight, for I give you the words that will start a war. My final judgment has been passed. Death to all. None shall stand so boldly against the might of the Scourge without reprisal. As you served me well in your first task, so too shall, shall you serve me in your next task. Take my judgment to the High Lord Morgrain at the command post of Archerus, found on the first floor. Tell him to begin the assault. To tell them to begin. Tell him. Tell him to begin the assault. <laughs> and when the crusade has been dealt with, we will finish the Argent Dawn. The Lich King commands you to carry his orders to High Lord Darian Morgrain at Ebonhold. We're gonna get moved faster in a neck. Yeah, you get all your gear from this. Slay all who oppose us. Yes, man. Yeah, yeah. The might of the scourge. I Lord Darian Morgrain. The life we had before is meaningless. The horns of war will soon echo across this land, waking the dead and calling forth the Scourge War Machine. Woe unto those who would stand in our way. 
You and your brethren will lead the charge. You and your brethren will leave the charge, Elude Stalwart. When I look upon the Scarlet Lands, my sight will be obscured by the legions of Archerus. The march upon New Avalon begins now. The following spell will be cast on you. Dominion over Archerus, and we'll get the blade out. Okay, let's go. We're fast now, right? Oh, oh, we're not that fast. Oh, now we are. Now we're fast. Yeah. Oh. Excuse you. All right, we got some questions. Well, the stars, the that that wasn't me. That wasn't me. Lord Thorval. Blood. The blood is life. And as easily as it ebbs and flows, it's controlled. So too is the life. Oh, as easy. It says, and as easily as the ebb and flow of blood is controlled, so too is the life of our enemies. The power of blood, frost, and unholy. So these are the different specs. These are the different specs that we got here. The power of blood, frost, and unholy. Within the Hall of Command, you will find the schools of blood, frost, and unholy. Each school has a trainer that can provide you with knowledge in the various dark arts. I, Lord Thorval, am the headmaster of the School of Blood. Lady Elistra reigns over the unholy, and the Archlich Amatha Amal Thazad holds dominion over Frost. You must return here whenever you gain power and train. Okay, cool. There's work to be done. So we should be able to train? No. Tomorrow not yet. But when we return. Day. Ooh, let's learn about dual spec. We just need a thousand gold. Yes! Oh, it's too expensive. Ashes. Two ashes. Okay. Alright, let's go. Gorge Commander Thalinor. We press on. The war has begun, my death knight. I shall place upon you my finest griffin and deliver you to death's, death's breach. Chaos, death, destruction. You will herald in all this and more. Below Archerus stands uh, Death Breach, the staging point for our assault upon the Crusade. You're to ride my Scourge Griffin, Scourge Griffins located on either side of this platform and report to Prince Valinar. Do as he says and you'll may likely live to see these lands fall before us. Report to Vit- Okay, let's go. Suffer well. Suffer well. <laughs> yeah, I remember the camps. We're at the camps now. Prince Valinar. The Scarlet Crusade will serve a new master in death. The Scarlet Harvest. Do you smell it? Valinar sniffs the air. Fresh meat. The scent of the Scarlet Crusade wafts through the air. Valinar salivates. Apologies, Death Knight. I'm sure you're not interested in my choice of fine cuisine. You are here to work. To lead the charge. Yes, I know. The Lich King has told me all that I need to know about you, elude stalwart. The time for bloodshed is now. If chaos drives, let suffering hold the reins. They make their stand now, outside of Death's Breach. Utility attempts to push, uh, it says, futilely attempting to push us back in hopes of saving their horses, uh, mines, lumber, and citizens. This was, this will be your first lesson in the Scourge Warfare. Oh, this will be your first lesson in Scourge Warfare. Terror. Warfare. I said warfare. Go to the front line, south of here, and destroy Scarlet Crusades or the Scarlet Crusaders, that is. Leave their corpse so that we may utilize them for the death march. But most importantly, kill the fleeing villagers. Soldiers are dying in affordance, but villagers? That's what strikes fear into the hearts of man. Okay, he's like, uh, kill the villagers because that's what's gonna make people scared. That's fucked up. If I went through, it was just time to <laughs> I don't care, man. You could always name change later. Salinar, the horseman. The Grand Theft Palomino. How fortuitous is it that the Crusade is the stable, has a stable full of horses a mere stone's throw from this post? Though they guard it tenaciously, an enterprising uh, young death knight could break through their defenses and take what's rightfully his. Once you have acquired those horses, or once you acquire a horse from Havenshire stables, return it to me and I will see that what can be done about transforming it into a proper death charger. Remember, elude stalwart, it's only stealing if... What, you get caught? Yeah, if you get caught, watch out for the deranged stable master, Kittrick. Salinar horseman asks you to steal a horse from Havenshire. Okay. You can go steal a horse. Alright, steal a little horse too. 
What about Orthos the Sky Darkener? What does he want? Tonight we dine in Havenshire. Tonight we dine in Havenshire. The sky darkens as mindless constructs with one purpose. Kill. Okay. So the sky darkeners are mindless constructs with one purpose. To kill. Specifically, aiming to kill a man or woman they see fleeing from Havenshire from New York. Holy shit. We certainly can't allow those cowards to make it out to save them make it out safely and then take up arms against us there's one slight problem they use serenite arrows for maximum rage and damage serenite however is a metal found only in northrin so supplies are limited retrieve those arrows for me and i'll reward you handsomely i don't think i ever read these quests and uh some of these are pretty fucked up <laughs> all right and then Death's Challenge. The Born of the Lich King's Victory. Okay, Born of the Lich King's Victory over Illidan Storm Rage. In the heart of the Frozen Wastes, Death's Challenge is a rite of passage that all Death Knights must undergo. Seek out other Death Knights of Archeris and challenge them to a duel. They must accept and fight until a victor emerges. Go now, Eludwart. Victory for the Scourge. Glory to the Lich King. Ulrun, the battle caller, has ordered you to win five duels against other death knights. You may choose to battle death knight initiates or players. And then we'll get the insignia of the scourge from that. Yeah, just like the insignia of the horde does the insignia of the scourge. Yes! Because his name and his character, Reefa, is gonna be Reefa.